Hey guys, so it's not been the greatest week for electric vehicle stocks and Workhorse are a company that have been hit particularly hard this week and this was mainly off the back of some news that came out around the USPS contract. In today's video I'll be taking a closer look at the news that did come out and what it does mean for Workhorse as a company. I'll also be taking a look at what some of the big institutional investors have been doing as a result of this price drop in Workhorse stock. And I'll also be discussing my own opinions on whether I think that this is a good time to be buying more workhorse stock uh, now that the stock price has dropped a little bit. If you do enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, as it really does help me out a lot. Also remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this in the future, including more videos on the workhorse situation and workhorse stock in general. And apart from that, let's get right into it. So what exactly did happen to workhorse? So quite a respected and highly reputable uh, website called trucks.com did come out of an article which was released after the market had closed on Tuesday the 1st of December stating that the USPS have delayed the mail truck replacement contract again which means that we won't be getting it at the end of 2020. So trucks.com would be jeopardizing their entire brand if they were to release this article without solid evidence to support it and they are in general quite a reliable source of information so it was fair for investors to assume and believe that this would be uh, a correct uh, article that had come out. So they state that the USPS have told trucks.com that they expect to reach a contract with one or more of the teams bidding for the business in the federal government's second fiscal quarter of 2021, which does work out to be the first quarter of the next calendar year. So straight away from this, we know that the contract will no longer be announced at the end of 2020, which was the original comms that the USPS had provided for us. Uh, but will instead be pushed to 2021 and could take as long as March in 2021. So on top of this, a USPS spokesperson called Kim Frum made a statement to trucks.com saying that amid continuing pandemic concerns and in order to provide for capital investment activities and required approvals, the program schedule had been revised and a decision is now planned for quarter two of the fiscal year of 2021. So this announcement from trucks.com did happen after the market closed, so only investors and institutions with after hours trading privileges could actually trade on this piece of news that came out. Uh, so a pretty big sell off did take place after hours, which saw the stock drop from around $25 uh, right down to around $19, which was about a 25% drop in the price. So then on Wednesday the 2nd of December, an official USPS announcement did come out to confirm that the contract will be delayed uh, and also sort of reiterated what the trucks.com article had said, that it is due to the continuing pandemic concerns and in order to provide for capital investment activities and required approvals. They did also officially confirm that the revised timeline for the contract will be between January and March of 2021. So the stock did trade in the region of $19 to $20 uh, when the market reopened on Wednesday, but then it did bounce back uh, on the Thursday, rising by around 11%, back up to $22.67 at the market close. On Friday, the stock was fairly stagnant and it did close at $22.07 in the end. So the momentum couldn't push it back uh, past the $23 mark. However, it does definitely suggest to us that the stock was clearly oversold straight after the news came out about the contract. So is this dip a good time to buy Workhorse stock? So ARK Invest have been fairly bullish on Workhorse for the past few months and have been buying shares for their ARK Q ETF on quite a regular basis. So a lot of Workhorse investors were quite nervously waiting to see how ARK were going to react to this news that came out, hoping that they would be buying more shares on the dip. So ARK Invest did indeed go ahead and buy lots more shares. So on the Wednesday, they bought 153,000 more shares for their ARK Q ETF, uh, which means that they now hold 1,388,000 Workhorse shares in this particular ETF. Their position in Workhorse is now 2.58% of the entire ETF. It is also important to remember that this news that came out around the contract does not actually change anything to do with Workhorse's fundamentals as a company. It doesn't make Workhorse a worse company and it doesn't mean that Workhorse are going to lose out on the contract. It just simply delays things and pushes things back a little bit further. Obviously, a lot of investors have lost some faith after this announcement came out and don't have the patience to keep holding their Workhorse shares, which is why we saw the sharp sell-off that took place. 
And yeah, Workhorse have not lost the contract yet. It is simply just a delay in the time frame that it's going to take place. Workhorse do remain the only fully electric competitor for the USPS contract. And it is clear that this is the direction that regulations and laws are heading in, as well as the future market. Personally, I do still remain quite confident that Workhorse will win a portion of the USPS contract. And personally, I think that it would be quite silly for the USPS to totally reject them when it is clear that they need to be pushing towards a more environmentally friendly fleet of vehicles. So disregarding my own opinion on the stock, I do have a ton of respect for Cathie Wood and ARK Invest and have confidence that they have done a lot of research into all of the stocks that they're buying. And when you see that they are topping up on Workhorse shares on the dip, then it does make me a lot more comfortable and confident in holding Workhorse shares for the foreseeable future. So also, analysts at the investment bank RF Lafferty did come out and say that the delay to the contract is no major roadblock for Workhorse, and they said that they are still quite bullish on the stock. They also did encourage investors to consider buying on the pullback, as I think it is quite a good buying opportunity. I'm going to pull up the chart for Workhorse in a minute, but it is clear that over the past four to five months or so, the stock price does tend to build up as the date for the potential announcement gets closer. I can see this happening again with the new revised announcement uh, between January and March of 2021. And as excitement builds up, we could potentially see more investors buying into Workhorse due to FOMO, which will drive the stock price back up towards $30 or potentially even higher. So here is the stock price chart for Workhorse stock. And as you can see, there was initial hype when the contract was first sort of announced. And then as we got nearer to the time where people uh, were expecting the contract to be announced, which was sort of the August and September time, the stock price did run up quite a bit from between where it was consolidating at, between the sort of $18 and $15 mark, right up towards $30. And then obviously the stock price did drop off quite a bit after that. And this was partly due to the contract getting delayed. And as we can see, it went right back down to around the $15 mark again, and sort of a little bit above that. And then this time around, investors were expecting the contract announcement to come by the end of 2020, so probably December of 2020. And as we can see in November, the price has been going up quite a lot, uh, all the way up to around sort of $28, $29. And then off the back of this announcement that it's going to be delayed, we've seen another sharp sell off. So it does tend to be a pattern. Um, for investors getting excited for the contract to be announced and obviously a lot of people are probably buying in through FOMO um, but then when the contract gets delayed there is always a sell-off and in my personal opinion I could see this potentially happening again with Workhorse. I don't really know where the share price is going to be trading at in the next month or so. It could potentially go back between the $18 and $15 mark. Hopefully not. Hopefully it stays around the sort of like the $20 to $25 mark. Um, but you never really know how it's going to trade in the short term. However, towards the start of 2021, so going into January and February, uh, I could see the hype starting to build up again and more people starting to buy in through FOMO, uh, which could again drive the price up uh, back towards the $30 mark or even potentially higher um, when it gets to sort of March time, providing that the contract doesn't get delayed again. So that is just my own opinion on work or stock. I'm not an expert on technical analysis at all. Um, I'm just simply uh, trying to see the patterns that I personally see. Also do remember that I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Uh, this video is for purely entertainment purposes only and you should definitely do your own research on every stock uh, that you're looking at before you choose to invest in it. So that is all for today's video guys. Personally I do remain quite confident in Workhorse and um, it is nice to see uh, institutions like ARK Invest also having confidence in Workhorse and topping up more. But obviously, make sure to do your own research. Um, I could be wrong. ARK could be wrong. Um, the stock could go down to sort of like the $5 range if the contract sort of falls through and they don't get any of it. So it is a very high risk stock for sure. If you did enjoy this video though, be sure to leave a like as it really does help me out a lot. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this in the future. And also remember to leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on work or stock. I'll be really interested to find out. Apart from that guys, thanks a lot for watching.